mud, mud. I love your sound. I'm absolutely, positively wild about mud. I can't go around that. You know, we got to remember that we've been lied to about everything. So when we hear us talk about these giants and see these depictions, you may go over Martin's channel and you may see him talk about giants. I just scrolled through about a thousand images looking for this image of giants just now, just a second ago. Yeah, we, we, we have like murals for, for the guys that are taller and you, you see those. Yeah, big fireplaces. We got big spoons, giant doors. You guys seen the video I did. Giant doors for giants. I mean, I mean, simple. I mean, like, simple, right? Can't possibly eat your giant cornflakes without your giant fucking spoon. We uh, have many legends. So what, right? what, what, what else do you have to know? They say, "Where's the reference? Reference right. is not legends, motherfucker." Yeah, <laughs> right. We've got a badass over here. Wake the fuck up, man! He's yeah. not. It's not, Open your fucking eyes, you can right. see. Right, you can't there. just pick and choose what part of history that is real and fake or what. Yes, yes we can. That's what historians do. These griffins you keep showing in the pictures, they're fake. They didn't exist. You know what did exist? Actual history. How about you take half a second, open your eyes, maybe to a nice book on history, read something informative, something useful, and then you'll stop spitting, spewing, spreading shit all over the internet. Part of science or, you know, you, you know that you just pick and choose. It, it's all, it's all lies. It's all lies. So you got to put all your cards back on the table. For sure, like totally. Fairy tales is okay because we have a fairy tale about magic part of Porridge, where porridge symbolizes the mud flood, and flood is the city, right? We could start from this fairy tale and continue with Grimm and end up with giants. A fairy tale about porridge that symbolizes the mud flood that you have not talked about. By the way, just to remind you, this whole series has was supposed to be about mud floods, and I think they spent no time on it. Very, very upsetting. Yeah, an official version is that they were just elite people and they were draw drawing like this because they uh, represented some respect for them. So to respect a person, you have to draw a giant, right? To fool around and, you know, lie to him and everybody else that he was a giant. I have not found this claim specifically in my short research on the topic. So I do not know its veracity. Most giant stories fall squarely into folk tale and myth categories. Giant tales that appear to have been meant to be taken seriously are religious giant tales, such as David and Goliath. And the reason why these depictions are like this, man, is because that's what was going on. And they come all different sizes of people. And if you think about it, we got all different sizes of people now. Yeah. We have Hooligan yeah, Travels. Right. We got all different sizes of people now. Hooligan I just travels. a lot more bigger ones back then than there is now. That's all. We have different sized people now. Therefore, there were giant sized giant people. That argument's horrible. It makes no sense. <laughs> this is the book of Sir Jonathan Swift, I think. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I got back in the day, mate. That's uh, yeah, that's an airship. Air fleet, air fleet. Look, so there's a port on there, no? on a platform. Look at that. I love it. That's nothing. Again, since they don't source, well, anything, I cannot find the actual images these three are salivating all over. If these images are from a Jonathan Swift book, they may be from Gulliver's Travels. You know, the fictional book of fiction written by one of the best known satirists in history. Not a good look, fellas. Swing and a miss. Oh yeah. I'm like the dragon story of Bell and the Dragon in uh, Bible depictions and all of these Greek mythologies. And nearly all of them show the same sort of narrative and um, that um, they were intelligent, they were in the population, as were Ashis, they took yeah, exactly what they Giants of folklore and myth are not universally intelligent or show living amongst humans. 
I almost guarantee you that the first giant that comes to your mind is probably some slobbering oath of oath of a character. Maybe the giant from Jack and the Beanstalk, or one of the Cyclops from the Greek myths, or maybe the giants of Skyrim. If Flat Earth British here provided some sources for his claim, we could have a conversation about that. But he didn't. Of course. After watching your channel, watching your depictions, I have to look at this stuff when I see these Roman depictions. I have That's to say, guys, look at that. Technasmia. What the hell did you just say? Technasmia, look at that. Yeah, uh, I was into the environment. There's one up there as well, another one. So this is the device. It's got like, you know, the Caesar's headdress on. So there's the machinery and everything is in here. And he's just like, that's it. You just got to watch over it. Does the business. What the fuck are they talking about? Where are these images from? Provide sources for Christ's sake. It's crazy. I wonder how officials explain this crap. Yeah, it's just what we don't know, guys. It's just what we don't know about our past. The bullshit they claim this is just unbelievable. I'd probably be able to explain it if I knew what the hell the images were coming from, but that would be just too good, wouldn't it? I'm going to take a wild guess, given that the previous images were from fucking Gulliver's Travels. This is probably from some fictional book as well. But I don't know. These three assholes have yet to provide anything concrete or relevant in regards to proof or evidence. Have you seen a picture of Paris in uh, like a century ago and the Paris right now? Where yeah. we see like lack of buildings and nothing left from the uh, previous era. Cleared up in Paris. Paris totally cleaned up. No evidence left from Tartarian era in Paris. Since our three hosts aren't gracious enough to provide us with the pictures, I will. Paris has changed a lot in the past hundred plus years. No shit. However, these old pictures aren't evidence of some fancy Tartarian empire in Paris. They're photos of the 1900 Paris World's Fair. Do you know where that is? No. Venice Beach in LA. They were there until 1932. LA, somewhere needs to be looked into. Wow. So that's all, all world's architecture. Canal boats going through them, all in this area, don't you? And Talking they, about mining, right? It's vertical yeah. mines. They got rid of it by 1930, and no one knows about it as an official narrative. It's just nuts. Wrong, 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 wrong. The Venice oil fields are not some hidden history. Just fucking Google it. The fields were tapped in 1929 and pumped out oil until 1942 when the shoreline wells finally dried up. Then they cleaned up the beach. This was not to hide some fictitious Tartar empire in California, but because the oil ran out. Wrong, 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 wrong. Just imagine cleaning this scrap with the horses. Yeah, no what we've got here is failure to communicate. Taking it all out, even the underground systems. That's why it's they all run out exactly the same time. New York, Moscow, London, all of them, all early Victorian era. All this is laid down. And what is an original? No, it's not, Flat Earth British. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The World's Fair that you talked about before, that took place in 1900. These Venice Beach oil platforms, they were moved from the 40s to the 70s, completely different periods of time. This isn't some mass fucking conspiracy. There, there is no conspiracy, you just... Why do I keep repeating myself? You're talking out of your ass. I wonder why, why they started the excavation only in the 20th century. These are giant ones here. Uh, uh, Have you answered that question? Why Roman uh, Rome was excavated only in Mussolini times? Rome was not excavated during the Mussolini times. That's completely fictitious. Rome itself is built upon layers of layers of layers of previous buildings of Rome, Rome built on top of itself. So it took a while to excavate deep down to find earlier and earlier buildings. A uh, famous example of this would be the Roman Forum. The Roman Forum was rediscovered, if you will, in 1803 and then excavated over the next hundred years. Not during Mussolini's times. Because they didn't know about the Rome? 
<laughs> they knew about the Rome, but it was fake, like Richard said. Right, bro. Hey, look, there's evidence of Rome, but there's no evidence of a Roman Empire, man. I've been seeing that. Uh, they're not an old map. It's none of them on old maps. It's just so amazing what a quick Google search would do to disprove the copious amounts of bullshit spewed out by these three idiots. Roman maps exist, they're not highly detailed, they're not really high quality, and if you want to learn more about that, check the links down below, educate yourself a bit. But, Rome existed, the Roman Empire existed, Roman maps exist, these things all exist. If only this Google program would function. Oh wait, it does function. It just worked for me. Why wouldn't it work for these assholes?